Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to Neil Kills Gaming. How's everyone doing? In today's video, we are going to be going over how to complete the train yard puzzle and get all that good loot here. Alright, for the train yard puzzle, you can make your way over here to the train yard. Um, you will need a fuse, a blue card, and a green card is optional. Also, you'll need a hazmat, um, or at least a moderate amount of radiation protection. If you need information on where to collect the cards, I do have a video showing all the key card locations on where to get them. So go ahead and hit the, the link above right now for uh, a link to that video showing you where to get all that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to this building on the edge um, where the recycler is. The recycler is right above us. We're going to flip this switch and then we have to be a little bit quick. We are on a timer here. We're going to make our way over here to the far side. And you will see two gray um, tall buildings there. We're going to be in both of them, but the first one we want to go to is here on the right side. So we come to this one. all the way up these stairs the train yard actually is probably the best spot as far as green and blue cards that you can go for loot this is my favorite one to the to run constantly it's a great way to keep getting scrap and uh, a lot of components so once you get to the top of the stairs you come out here you flip that second switch there and then we rush right back down the stairs and we head over to that other gray building here all right once we get to this building we go up these stairs on the first floor here you'll see a door go in here you'll see everything here lit up this is where we're going to put our fuse then we're going to flip the switch on the right and that will activate the two doors. This is where the green door is optional. You come here, here's a green door, swipe your card. That will open up that. There's a crate that's here, a couple barrels. Um, there will be one crate. It can be a military crate or a normal crate. Come up here to the second one. This is a blue door. You can just skip the green door altogether. This is where all your main loot is going to be. As you can see, there is a lot of crates. You can get it. A very good amount of loot from all of this. Normally when I do it, I just skip the green door. But that's up to you if you want the one extra crate. But you can see there is a good amount of loot everywhere. There's also a red card over here on the table. You can build up your scrap and your components really quick this way. And then what I like to do after that, and most of the times, actually, I come back down here. You can take your fuse out if you don't have a lot of fuses. And if you're quick about it, you can see that has more than half health left on that fuse. So go ahead and take your fuse back out and save it for the next run once you're done. As long as you have more than half, you can you can easily get two good runs out of, out of one fuse. And then I'm going to... Once I do all that, I head back over here to where the recycler is, and I just scrap everything right away. So, I'll show you where that is. You come back over here to the building where we started, head up these stairs, and another set. In this room, you'll find a recycler. This can also be a military crate here. Um, down where we flip that switch, there's a crate that will appear, and that will sometimes be a military crate also. And you just come in here, scrap all your stuff. And there you go. I mean, that's probably going to be the best that you can get for the, you know, as little work as you can possibly do. That is the easiest way to stockpile your scrap and uh, your components quickly. But alright, if you like this video, go ahead, leave a like, comment down below. I will be doing the other monuments and all the other puzzles, so uh, 
let me know what you want to see next if the one that you're wondering about is not yet up. All right, thanks everyone, and as always, please remember to hit that subscribe button. Until next time.